so people can, okay, do you want to start us off, Tyler? False start. Sure, yeah. Oh, you can start us off. Okay, well, we are building rockets in Kerbal Space Program. Uh, the first person to get a Kerbal to land on the moon, no return trip, just has to get there, uh, wins. Um, so you'll see that right now I have the uh, really crappy capsule with a really big rocket attached to it. Um, gonna be adding some things, but uh, Tyler, maybe you want to describe what you have going right now. I have a glitch where what I'm building turned itself sideways. There we go. So yeah, I got a Oops. little rocket on a little bit of fuel and some landing gear and, and a pod, and that's about it right now. All right. Well, I should probably figure out landing gear, which I've never done before, so this will be interesting for me. I'll give you a piece of advice. You want six. Six? All right, thanks. Yeah. Um, it makes it just makes the actual act of landing that much easier. Well, yeah, because you have four. It's easier to 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 fight, like to scrub the direction and then be like, oh well, I guess. I guess we're falling over now. <laughs> Damn it, I can't get the frickin' adapters to Oh, that's it. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. <coughs> um, where's a ladder? Tell us by mobility enhancer. We don't have to... We, we can do multiple launches, right? It's just... Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's first person there. So if you get there, like... So it's your choice of how you want to spend your, your time and effort. And uh, viewers can note that I've named my craft Apollo 1, so I'm planning to have it burn up on the landing pad. Uh, let's see how that, what happens. <laughs> let's watch! <laughs> I, I'm just, it's, it's like proof of concept, pretty much. Just I want to see how far a giant can of fuel, one mainsail engine, and a thing on top can get. Huh. Well, like a mainsail, like you're using begins. Yeah, I mean, I have access to it. Um, I was so gonna, I'm watching. a joke about, like, you know what they say about. The big stuff. ones fall hardest? I don't know. I don't, like, I don't know. I wasn't sure if you're gonna go for a dick joke or if you're gonna go for a big ones fall hard joke. It's like either work, right? I'm learning that the mainsail is actually prone to overheating. Yes. Um, it's doing alright right now, though. It'll probably run out of fuel before it overheats. Well, that's a something. Yeah. Okay, so the mainsail and a giant fuel can, basically on their own, cannot in fact get into orbit, is what I'm learning right now. Well, and you know what? It's a learning process. It is a learning process. This is how this is how America did it. Oh Jesus Christ, I'm going fast. <laughs> it's going so fast I got like atmospheric drag. Are you sure you don't mean all righty then? Oh shit, there's a person in that. What? Uh, I, I just told the guy. Already. Well, that was quick. Yeah, I think he might survive. I thought you could just revert, right? I know, you cannot revert. Yeah, well, that didn't happen, and now I killed a man. Well, I hope you feel good. Right, Apollo 1 ended up going exactly as Apollo 1 is supposed to. <laughs> well, we're in line with our predictions. I for mean. Look, at least I know, right? Alright. Okay, I'll build a lander right now. Okay, we've got some some steering gear. And this will be the USS Happy Duck. Building wow, it all caps too. <clears throat> Alright. So Alright. We're preparing for launch one of this little friendly competition. I wish I could see what you were doing. Oh wait, I can't. Yeah, you can. Uh was that frowned upon? No, go for it. It's an incredibly friendly competition, so the share screen is update. Uh, I don't know if it's... Sh yeah. Viewer? No. Nope. F10? Yeah. I think it's, yeah, I think it's viewer. Yeah. Let's see what you got going on here. 
<laughs> Alright, it's not doing shit for me. Uh. Well, you know. I shared a screenshot? Oh, well, you guys got screenshots you're, if you want them. You're doing the wrong thing. Yeah, I did. I figured it out after that. Alright. Um. I'm gonna do main sale. I'm gonna do. We have lift off. I can hear a hit over the Skype. I really wish I could see this. Alright. Um, hmm. How am I gonna do this? I got a lander there. I need, so I can need fuel. Fuel's gonna take. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff just orbiting the planet. I am really worried about an inadvertent, an inadvertent contact. We'll go with. I'm using Sepatron or Sepratron solid rocket boosters. I'm trying okay. to maximize the amount of, uh, like, how I can. Well, I don't want to have the weight too high, but it's going to be high because I got to get the lander can down there. Okay, I'm at yeah. 10,000 meters. Oh, wow, that guy landed on um, Gilly. The atomic rocket motor, what sort of fuel does it use? Huh? What does the atomic motor use for fuel? Liquid. Liquid, but note how low its thrust is. Hmm, where is it? Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. At 60? No, well, I tend to use the 50 for um, my landing and such. Oh, um, yeah, if you're landing on the moon, you might be okay with that. Yeah, I, I'm not going to use the atomic for the moon. It would be for, like, I, I like low, low thrust when I need to do corrective burns. Yeah. So I know. Yeah. All right. 